Welcome back, Cal fans. I'm Natalie Gibbons. And I'm Joel Barron, and welcome to this week's edition to Cal TV Sport Shorts. The California Golden Bears track and field team went to Seattle on Friday and Saturday for the MPSF Indoor Championships at Dempsey Indoor Facility. The men's team claimed their first MPSF team championship since the 1992-93 season on Saturday. On the first day of the meet, the Bears claimed three individual MPSF championships. Junior Chioma Amechi won the women's weight throw, and the Cal team swept long jump with redshirt senior Solman claiming the men's title and senior Peyton grading the women's championship. Senior Tom Blocker also won his school record in the 60 meter dash, clocking a time of 6.71. On Saturday, senior Jordan Locklear won the men's mile run championship earlier in the day. Cal's men won the team competition with 96 points, edging Arizona State by three. The Golden Bears will open their 2014 outdoor season this weekend at home at Edwards Stadium in California outdoor opener. California men's basketball is in the midst of a challenging stretch to end the regular season that led with two upsets on the road this past weekend. 87-59 against the number three Arizona and 78-60 against the number six Arizona State University. They are currently locked in a fourth place tie with Colorado and Stanford in the Pac-12 standings heading into this final week of the regular season. They are looking to finish strong at home and secure a top four seed in next week's conference tournament. The Golden Bears are 18 and 11 overall with a 9 and 7 conference mark. Cal, with a 12-3 record at home this season, meets Utah on Wednesday, March 5th and Colorado Saturday, March 8th for the first time this season. These two games could have a major impact on the Bears' postseason fate. It is crucial that we win both games if we want to bolster our chances for NCAA's March Madness. Senior Justin Cobbs was named a finalist for the Bob Kelsey Collegiate Point Guard of the Year Award. Cobbs is the Pac-12's active career assist leader with 495 and 96 career games at Cal. He moved ahead of Jason Kidd, class of 94, for fourth in school history in career assists last time out at Arizona State. Richard Solomon continues to lead the Pac-12 in rebounding with 9.8 rebounds per game and ranks 18th nationally. These next two games will be quite emotional as these are the two final home games for seniors Justin Cobbs, Richard Solomon, and Jeff Powers. Best of luck to the Golden Bears in their matchup with the Utah Utes tonight at Haas Pavilion here in Berkeley. Another dominating performance at the Pac-12 Championship Saturday, California women's swimming and diving team captured the conference title. Freshman Missy Franklin was crowned the Pac-12 Swimmer of the Meet after winning the 100-yard freestyle and anchoring Cal's victorious 400 relay. Elizabeth Pelton also claimed the 200 backstroke for the second straight year to give the Golden Bears five individual and three relay championships during the four-day meet. The Bears will next be back in the pool March 20th to 22nd for the NCAA championships in Minneapolis to close out their 2013 to 14 season. And based on the results at the Pac-12 meet, Cal will certainly have a great shot at its fourth national championship in the past six years. Last night was Battle of the Bay as Cal men's baseball hosted Bay Area rival Stanford in a non-conference game at Evans Diamond. The Bears struggled and their six-game win streak was snapped as they lost to Stanford 11-1. With this loss, the Bears dropped to 8-3. While they only had two official errors on the scoreboard, there were other noticeable problems. The top of the order struggled to produce any sort of offensive production. The pitching was off, the guys struggled at bat, and they displayed poor defense. All as if they forgot their fundamentals. This is very unexpected from a great team who had just won six straight games and went undefeated in two straight tournaments. However, because of this performance by Cal, Coach Esker used the game as an opportunity to get his players into the game. Redshirt freshman Jordan Talbot and true freshman Trevin Hasseltine got their first innings under their belt in their Cal career. Jacob Wark, a dual athlete here at Cal, got his first career home run and the only run in the game. The Bears currently lead the Pac-12 with an 8-3 record and are on top of the conference with a 2.0 team ERA. 
Up next with baseball, the Bears host the Cal Baseball Classic March 7th through 9th at Evans Diamond. Come out and support your Golden Bears. We expect to see great things come out of these guys this season with Cal Baseball. Well, that's all the time we have for today, sports fans. For Cal TV, I'm Natalie. And I'm Joelle. And make sure to tune in next week to get your down low for, for What's Up in Cal Sports. Cal sports.